Welcome to Mr. Ace Math. This lesson is on evaluating expressions. But before you begin the lesson, you should make sure you know the following things in order to be successful. Make sure you're comfortable with basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, operations with integers, the order of operations, and variables. So make sure you know those and let's get started. So first of all, what exactly does it mean when we say evaluating expressions? Because evaluating sounds like a really fancy word, but if you read it slowly, you'll see that inside the word evaluate is the word value. So when we say evaluating expressions, all that's happening is you're finding the numeric value of the expression. And how exactly do we do that? We use something called substitution. And what is substitution? That just means that we're going to take the variable or the letter out of the expression and put the value it represents in the expression in its place. Let's take a look at this example. Here we have 5 plus x, where x equals 7. I'll start by rewriting the expression here. So here we have our expression, 5 plus x. One extra thing I like to do is I like to put the variable inside parentheses. You'll see why that's important in the next example. But this also makes it a little bit easier to read and organizes our work. And we know that x equals 7. So I'll take this variable out of the expression, replace it with a 7, and then put that back in the expression. And now we've got 5 plus 7, which is 12. So when we evaluated this expression, 5 plus x, where x equals 7, our value for that expression is 12. So here's our next example, 4y, where y equals 6. Remember in the last example where I like to put parentheses around the variable? Let's see what happens when you don't. So let's substitute. We'll take y out, put a 6 in its place, and then put it back in. And then it looks like the answer is 46. Sorry. That's wrong, because students are forgetting one key thing. Now let's try it with parentheses. These parentheses help students remember that when you have a number next to parentheses, it means multiplication, not just placing the number in like we did before. So now when I substitute, I'll take the y out of the expression, replace it with its value of 6, put it back into the expression, and then perform the operation there, which is multiplication. And what's 4 times 6? That's 24. So we'll say that when we evaluated the expression 4y, where y equals 6, the answer is 24. Here's our next example. 7 minus w where w equals negative 3. So let's start by putting the variable in parentheses. And now I'll substitute. We know that w equals negative 3. So I'll take this w out of the expression, replace it with negative 3, and then put it back in the expression. This is a little bit tricky because we're subtracting a negative. And this is why it's important to know your integer operation rules. Because we're subtracting integers, we're going to use KCC, where K stands for keep, C stands for change, and this C stands for change as well. So we'll keep positive 7, we'll change subtraction to addition, and then change this negative 3 to its opposite which is positive 3. And now we'll just do this. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 
So we can say that when we evaluate 7 minus w, where w equals negative 3, the answer is 10. In this example, we've got f over 2, where f equals negative 10. Let's take our variable and put it in parentheses. So let's substitute. We'll take the f out of the expression, replace it with negative 10, and then put it back into the expression. Remember that when you have a fraction, it also represents division. So we've got negative 10 divided by positive 2, and that gives us negative 5. So we'll say when we evaluate the expression f over 2, where f equals negative 10, the answer is negative 5. So here we have a longer expression, but we know exactly what to do. Because we have an expression with variables, we're going to use substitution. And since we know that c equals negative 2, wherever we see the variable c, we'll put in negative 2. I'll start by rewriting the expression. Then, like I said before, I like to put parentheses around the variable so our work is easy to read. So I'll rewrite 6c with parentheses. Then I'll bring down the plus. I'll bring down the 35. I'll bring down the minus sign. And then I'll bring down the 2c with parentheses around the c. Next, I'll substitute negative 2 every time I see the variable c. So this will become 6 times negative 2. I'll bring down the plus. I'll bring down 35. Then bring down the minus sign. And then bring down 2c. But instead of the variable c, we're writing a negative 2. So it'll be 2 parentheses negative 2. So now that we have an expression of just numbers and there are multiple operations, we need to follow the order of operations more commonly known as PEMDAS. There are no parentheses to do. Remember, these just mean multiplication, but there's nothing to do inside of them. So we can check off the P for parentheses. Do you see any exponents? Nope. So we'll skip that step two. Next, we'll go down to step three, which is multiplication or division from left to right. Do you see any multiplication or division? Even though we don't use the x time symbol, when a number is next to parentheses, it does mean to multiply. So we've got 6 times negative 2, which is negative 12. We also have 2 times negative 2. That's going to be negative 4. And then we'll bring down everything that we haven't used. We've already used all of this, but we haven't used a plus sign. We haven't used 35, and we haven't used this minus sign. And we should never have two operators touching each other. So we'll put this negative 4 in parentheses. Do you see any more multiplication or division to do? Nope. So we're done with that step. And finally, we'll move down to addition or subtraction from left to right, whichever comes first. So we've got negative 12 plus 35, and that's positive 23. We'll bring down the minus and the negative 4. And now all we've got left is 23 minus negative 4. Again, we're subtracting integers, which means we're going to have to use KCC. So let's keep 23 change the minus to plus, and then change negative 4 to its opposite, which is positive 4. Now we've just got 23 plus 4, which is equal to 27. Since there are no other operations to do, we're done with step 4. So when we evaluate this expression, where c equals negative 2, our answer is 27. 
So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. Hit the pause button and try these questions. When you think you have the answers, hit play to see if you're right. Ready, set, go. So let's check those answers. Number one is 11. Number two is negative nine. Number three is 10. Number four is eight. And number five is 43. So let's reflect on what we've learned today. Finding the numeric value of expression is called evaluating expressions. What do we do to evaluate expressions? We use substitution. What are the two parts of substitution? First, you need to take the variable out of the expression. And then second, you need to put the value into the expression. What is a helpful step when using substitution? Put in parentheses around the variable. What operation is used when a number is touching the outside of parentheses? That's multiplication. And putting parentheses around your variable definitely helps you remember that. And that's what makes it so helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Questions? Comments? Leave them down below. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math. Ace it.